Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be, sh you know, uh, it's a different video. It's more like an update video. And for a little bit of a showcase of what I've been doing on a server. And, uh, yeah. I'll leave the uh, IP in the little uh, description. Well, well it'll, there'll be a little uh, text at the bottom. So, yeah. Well, here's my plot, and all you can do to do it is do slash slash res tp banana lord. And yeah, that's my name. Don't don't make fun of it. Don't judge. So yeah. Anyways, um, I just have an orgated seven segment display right here. That just uses a counter that I used in um, my uh, my clock, and there's a overview on that too. If you were wondering, it's a shift register, so yeah, you can uh, set whatever input you want in here, and it will, you know, shift all the bits left, and it will loop them if it needs to. So, anyways, here's a serial uh, encoder. Sends uh, multiple, a whole byte of information or more, depending on how much space you have and what are what you're gonna be doing with it. And here's the serial uh, decoder that just breaks up all those random pulses, which aren't very random to that guy, but what that just does is breaks it up and puts each bit in its spot that it was from over there. And anyways, here's a little uh, uh, store design again. You know, just doing his thing. So, I have a hole upstairs too, I'll show you that later. But anyways, here's the cream de la croque. And it's a adder that I had to fit in a very small space. I wish I could uh, add m like up to 99, but that did not happen because I don't have enough space. Space, space, space. So, just 9. And once we hit 9, it will save to a register. It save to B. So, 9 gets displayed. And since there is nothing in A, it just says 9. But, anyways, so if I just hit 7, 7 will save in A, and then it will flip. But, the actual uh, reason why I made this is the show memory button. What this does is, is it just flashes each, um, each number onto the screen. So, that's for this one. If you're just wondering what the heck, what the heck you guys, you know, you're adding together. So, you're useful. And then it just switch back to the answer. Anyways, to reset the memory, you just hit that, and it will just flip twice. Set it to zero, and yeah. So, if we go outside right here, we have, well, <laughs> that. <laughs> that monstrosity. So, yeah, that's... I had to fit 18 lines in a space that could only fit 9 lines, so... that was very interesting. So, yeah. So here's all the wiring behind the button pad. It just goes into this uh, little memory array. And then once you ever... once you hit something, it, you know, pulses down, flips R. T flip flop, you know, saves whatever numbers in the uh, spot or in the appropriate register. But there's all the logic for the uh, show memory button. So that's always fun. And once we come up here, walk out. And we can go upstairs now where I have. This, which is an extremely fast and compact 3x3 door. Made by, made by me. And, 
Yes. So, I'd have to say so myself. So, yeah. And here is actually a compacted version of that tile flip flop. I I was I don't know why I didn't even go to this for the first place. I have no idea. But this is a lot smaller than the last one. And let me just say, hi Ray, he's he's awesome. And yes. So here's a sliding uh, torchless uh, fence gate door. It's nothing too big. And then we have my random pixel art that I decided to do, and it just says my name, banana, and load with a little redstone torch, and my face, which, which is anonymous because yeah, that's how awesome I am. Anyways, you guys can feel free to join. I really don't care. If I'm on, just say, hi, hi, Mr. Hello, how are you? And, you know, and be like, oh my god, hi. And I, yeah. Wonderful conversations. But anyway. That's, um, that's all for today. And I'll see you guys next time.